Cancer can hurt in so many ways. For Bronnie Naturinda and her aunt, it's the thought that she won't have children. It has pained me because I have not produced any children. I'm only 28. Bruni also has very little time left. She has cervical cancer and it's in advanced stages. The doctors tell her surgery won't help. The pain is unbearable. I feel a lot of pain in my lower abdomen and the bleeding is too much. All the time I have to pad myself. I use two packs every day. The doctors back home in western Uganda referred Bruni to Mulago Hospital in the capital Kampala to get the best treatment. That was to be radiotherapy. But she arrived last week only to find the machine is broken. I feel terrible because I met people who told me their bleeding had reduced after undergoing radiotherapy. So I had hope, only to be told the machine is spoiled. Hospital authorities say treatment is available in Kenya, but she can't afford that. Her only treatment now, painkillers and counseling at this private hospice. Experts here say they expect to see more people like Bruni in the coming days and weeks. All these patients who have been accessing the service are no longer going to be able to access it. And that means that they're going to have pain that is uncontrolled, bleeding that is difficult to control, and they'll have a much poor quality of life. We could even argue that they might have an earlier death than they would have if they had received radiotherapy. The government says it has paid for a new machine, but it needs to be housed in a special banker. We are working on the banker. We have already agreed with the Minister of Finance to front road the required financing. And once we get the contractor, we shall negotiate with the contractor to be able to work even over time and overnight and be able to complete this banker without compromising the technical specifications expected of this uh, construction. But Bruni, Naturinda and many others simply have no time at all left to waste. The health ministry says about 300,000 cancer patients are affected by the breakdown of the radiotherapy machine. The worry is how long it will take before the machine is fixed and before patients can receive this essential treatment. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.